All right, everybody. Hey, this is Jennifer Duck or Daisy Duck. Sorry, I don't got my teeth in. Well, I'm here at Lee Summit, Missouri. And today was the first day <coughs> a double ammonia in both lungs. And this is where I sleep right over there in the sleeping bag. But my warden won't let me lay down because he says when I do, my oxygen goes so low, he's afraid that I'm going to go back in the hospital. But I feel like I'm doing better. I take it one day at a time. I wish this on nobody. I have <coughs> I have muscle cramps, muscle spasms or muscle cramps. So just I take one day at a time. I sleep a lot. So. It's funny, I'm watching me. When Ernie goes to the store, I turn on my channel. <coughs> Look here, Marianne and Gerald. I had to bring my big cup with me for my water. Can't go with anywhere without the cup. And my keychain. Nick said I need something to protect me. I said, I'll bring my keychain. My keychain will, anybody gets near me, I'll just hit them over the head with that thing. Well, I won't stay on here too long because it still hurts. I get these muscle spasms, I guess that's what you call it. I've had double ammonia, but nothing like this. It started in my right breast under my rib and that's where it hurt. Right after the day, I had my surgery, my colonoscopy. I knew I shouldn't have went there. I tried to stay far, far away from them damn hospitals. And then I caught a bug, a bad bug. First they did that enema on me and then they scoped down my throat. And then uh, I thought for sure they punctured my rib, but it, it wasn't a caught ammonia. I should have went to my PCP. Instead, I drove. I left about 10, my time, and drove out here. <coughs> I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that before. <coughs> Ooh, it hurts. Okay, so, oh, uh, hold on. Catch my breath. I just, yeah, just need that shit to come up. Oh, God. Hold on. So I drove, and a damn GPS the kids put me on was Apple Maps. Let me tell you. Apple Maps took me through the country. 
I've been places I've never been in Missouri. <laughs> and it was beautiful, but I just wanted to get there. Who cares what it looked like? I just wanted to get there. I should have stayed on 60 and went the way I always go. But no, it took me through Roland and some other places. So I finally called my girlfriend Ginger and I was so hunched over, let me tell you. I drove like this, holding my chest and holding my head up to get her. Now, if I would have stopped somewhere, I would have been dead. But Ginger was helping me get to my son's house here in Lee Summit. All I remember was I got out of my van and into his truck. My grandson had to help me. My son, he has I don't know what it is. From the ankle, I'll show you. Hold on. His ankle. He tore the ligaments here on the right leg. He has to have surgery come Tuesday. And then I come down with this. So, <coughs> so, I think the little town called Sedalia is on Highway 50, and I was looking for a place to stay, and I'm so glad I didn't. Ginger, I called her, and she helped me. It's funny. She called my son, Ernie. Oh no, wait, wait. The other son, George, to get Ernie's phone number to tell him to take me to the ER. All I remember is going to the ER and having chest pains. Right then and there, I thought it was having a heart attack. I don't remember anything. And laying on that bed was interesting because my Let's see what they say. My blood pressure shot right up. And then my uh, heart rate was off the Richter scale, way up there. And the pain, I can't. So they did all kinds of tests on me. I don't never want to go to Dixon Hospital. That's where I got that bug. And the doctor over there in Dixon said, it's a gas bubble, like hell it was. Uh, I brought my quilt with me. I gotta fix this, I don't like this. Oh crap, I can't lay on this couch anymore. My tailbone is killing me. Well, you guys, have a wonderful day and pray for our country. And thank you for watching my channels. And I'll keep you posted how I'm feeling. And thank you again for supporting me. Hey, this is Jennifer Duck and Daisy. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, bye. Oh, there's Whoopi over there. He's my. He keeps me in line. And the warden is coming back soon. So I got to straighten up my room here. <laughs> Bye.